Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. I will just say before we get into this, I'd like to thank Alan Betts Azure. That's his username, I'm presuming um, Alan is your name. Alan, thank you very much uh, for your super thanks. Very greatly appreciated. Um, I always am very humbled when people do that, and it is really helpful to the channel. So uh, hats off and thank you. Now, we've got, uh, we've got the story here. Yesterday, of course, was Thursday, which means it's the day when Penny Mordaunt takes to her feet and rips Deirdre Brock a new one. And yesterday, of course, was no different. It is that wonderful time where we sit every week uh, while still Penny's in that position, at least, and watch this happen. And uh, yesterday she got there and she uh, she praised Scott. She gave the Scots uh, a marvellous piece of um, enthusiasm, really backed them up uh, and praising them because she said it's amazing how they've st you know stood the test, the privations, the awfulness of an SNP government and they're still coming through strong and with hope in their heart. And uh, she's basically hoping that come the next election, the Scots will show the SNP the door. And of course, I think they will. Let's have a quick look, see what Penny was doing to Deirdre this week. Here it goes. So Penny Morden praises stoic Scots for putting up with the SNP's unmitigated disaster as she brutally slaps down Deirdre Brock yet again. I've got to be honest, I do feel sorry. Deirdre Brock is literally the whipping boy of the SNP. Every week they send her out to face uh, Penny Morden and she stands there and she says something, it doesn't matter what she says. Deirdre gets up, says her piece and then sits back down and then you can always hear the music of the Darth Vader theme as Penny Morden stands up and then just rips her apart. You know, and it's dun, 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 dun. And she is, she is an evil Sith Lord to, to Brock, isn't she? Brock must fear it. And then it's over and done with, and then Brock can go off. I, I reckon they're going to end up, I keep saying, I reckon they'll end up good friends. Because it is all theatre, of course. But it is entertaining when you watch. And Penny Morden is undoubtedly setting herself up for a leadership challenge, I think. Uh, we all know Rishi Sunak's time uh, is... Nigh, he won't last much longer. Um, already, indeed, um, aside from this story, I'm just as, a, as already into a tangent, but there are rumours, I've heard rumours and things and seen things, that there is what we can call buyer's remorse. Um, and how a lot of the SMP, not the SMP, I'm used to saying that, a lot of the Tory party um, are, think, uh, are thinking that perhaps getting rid of Boris was not such a good idea after all. And by the Tory party, I don't mean the members out in the country and the, you know, because all the, all the associations up and down the country did not want to get rid of Boris. This was entirely down to the Parliamentary Conservative Party. But within the Parliamentary Conservative Party, there are now these musings that they have gone and done something very, very stupid, which everybody should have known from day one. Because all these people up in the North, particularly the red wall that turned blue, None of them were voting for the Conservatives. They were voting for Boris. And so, you know, they, they went and stabbed him in the back like that. I mean, all right, he had to go with the things that they've done, but the manner in which they did it was ruthless. So uh, that is why they're, um, they're, they're having this whole, this whole palaver now, and it serves them right. It absolutely serves them right. You know, you can't go and do, one, do things like this and expect people to trust you. Anyway, we're getting back to this story because otherwise I'll be at a tangent so far. I'll come all the way around again. Uh, anyway, the Tory MP uh, clashed with SNP MP Deirdre Brock, who accused her of being a minister for clickbait and of insulting Scots every week at the House of Commons. No, Deirdre, she's not insulting Scots at the House of Commons every week. She's insulting the SNP and their supporters. One is definitely not the other. Whilst most SNP supporters are Scots. By no means are all Scots SNP supporters. And if that's, and that's, I think actually that's one of the arrogances of, of the SNP is that they think they speak for all Scots rather than just a minimal selection of them. Anyway, Penny Morden praised Stoic Scots for putting up with the SNP's unmitigated disaster in Scotland as she tore apart Nationalist MP Deirdre Brock in a brutal rant. 
Leader of the House of the Commons faced accusations from her rival that she took part in clickbait politics. And maybe she does. But I've got to tell you, it works. And I'm, Every week, every Thursday, she gets and does this. And sometimes on a Thursday afternoon, other times on a Friday, I will do the uh, the video for it. Penny is great. I mean, I love doing the Penny videos. I hope you enjoy watching them. Um, anyway, every Thursday, the pair clash with the Tory MP usually easily dealing with the Edinburgh North and Leith representative. And this continued as the former Conservative leadership contender and contender yet to be many think, described the Nationalists as having an appalling record and that they were incapable, incorrigible and in trouble. Oh, what a wonderful line. Who wrote that? Miss Brock had accused her of only criticising the SNP to get clicks. That's not true. That's not true. She's criticising the SNP because they are so very easy to criticise. I've got an entire channel almost entirely dedicated to highlighting the SNP. I do, of course, highlight other faults as well when they come up. The Greens, the Tories, the Labour. If anyone in politics makes a cock up of themselves, I will report it. I have no sides. It's just that the SNP are currently the party of government and therefore the ones that get the most flack. They're also, of course, the very, very worst party. Um, she said, the brief seems to be clear. She says, to rubbish and insult Scots every week in business questions. Perhaps no, not so much stand up and fight as stand up comedian. The Tories have given us a joke minister for common sense and looks like we now have a minister for clickbait. Meanwhile, her own government's record has absolutely nothing to joke about. Destitution, rising doctors on strike, crippling the English NHS, seacoast fouled with pollution, inhu hang about, I'm coming back to that one, uh, inhumane treatment of asylum seekers and the breaching of international law, unresolved scandals piling up and the crushing impact of one of the worst Tory jokes of all, Brexit. OK, just going to go with this one. Destitution. Which part of Britain has got the biggest proportion of homelessness? Scotland. Rising doctors uh, on uh, sorry, rising doctors on cr on strike, crippling the English NHS. Who's got the worst NHS in Britain? Scotland. Uh, sea coast fouled with pollution. We have done uh, several videos on the pollution levels in Scotland, where there are ten to fifteen thousand breaches of sewage going into rivers, streams the sea, the water table, all sorts of things. 15,000 breaches a day. So Deirdre, if you're going to talk shit, stop talking shit. Uh, anyway, she's talking about um, inhumane treatment of asylum seekers. Well, no, not really. Asylum seekers are fine. Illegal immigrants is slightly different. Uh, and the breaching of international law. Really? You want to go on that one? What laws have we breached? No breaches of international law. None at all. We are one of the most upholding lawful nations in the in the world. She said, unresolved scandals piling up and crushing the impact of one of the worst Tory jokes of all. Unresolved scandals? Do you know how many police investigations are going on against the SNP? Oh, it's just a joke, isn't it? Deirdre, get a mirror, love. Look to your own party. Anyway, Miss Morden clarified that the SNP are not Scotland, mentioned that earlier, and that she was simply critiquing the nationalist performance over the last decade. And she added that she'd been given the SNP publicity that money cannot buy. She said in her brutal broadcast, she said, I'm not talking Scotland down, I'm talking down the SNP. That has been an unmitigated disaster for Scotland. The stoicism of the Scottish people in dealing with the inept government they have in Scotland deserves great credit. It does. You're still alive. You're still smiling. You're getting angry. Uh, she talks about our record on delivery and invites me to make that comparison. She said, let me try and say this without mentioning the appalling record of the SNP and just invite people to contrast our record with theirs. Miss Morden then listed off some of the successes which the Tory government has undertaken, including introducing the largest rail infrastructure investment since Victoria times and 18 million households with full fibre broadband and a massive regeneration projects across the UK. Uh, she said, the SNP government has been an unmitigated disaster for Scotland. They've been found out that they are incapable, incorrigible, and only now are they in trouble. And boy, are they in trouble. B 
big time. So well done, Penny. Keep going. Keep ripping her apart. And let's keep old Brocky there. She loves it, really. It gives her uh, two minutes of fame every Thursday. We all like to talk about it. And at the end of the day, she can go home. She laughs. She doesn't care. She'll have a big salary. And what for? A little bit of humiliation. I'll take it. Coming up. Someone needs to take Deirdre Brock to one side and explain to her that when you're going to go and argue a point and make a point in Parliament, that never, ever, ever raise your government's record. Because your government, Deirdre, the SNP's government, its record is bad. It's re remarkably bad. It is failure after failure after failure. And the thing is, it's not just a failure. It's a spectacular failure. And what's worse is, it's a very expensive, spectacular failure in every area. So really, when you do this, you need to keep it stum. People look at you and think, don't do that. And then you do that. And it's like a wide open goal. But then you're not very bright, are you, Deirdre? You don't see what's coming. You don't, you don't understand how everything you say is going to be turned back at you. And then you lack the ability to come back sharpish. And that's the problem. But I think it's marvellous. I think it's good entertaining TV. I watch it and I like, hey, it's old Penny is off again. Up and running. Up and running, Penny. The next leader of the Tory party, probably. And I know there's people who are going to sit there and go, oh, yeah, but she has this view and this view and this view. Real women are women and false women are women and all that bollocks. I don't care. We've got to have somebody as a leader. And at least if we're going to have someone, if someone's going to be our mummy, Let's have a good looking one. Anyway, I shall stop there and I shall um, finish and I shall leave that one alone and we'll move on to the next video. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Do please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment. Please share the video. Until next time, stay safe, stay well and soldier on, you stoic buggers. Bye.